Hey everyone, I'm Nilufer and I think it's time to rethink our value of career and motherhood. Now before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you are on YouTube, do click the alert notification. I think it's time that we rethink our value of career and motherhood. I am 37 years old and I worked in the corporate world for more than 15 years. And I actually delayed becoming a mother because, you know, just the thought of having a baby and managing my career, it would leave me clueless. I didn't know what to do. And, um, you know, when I was in my 20s, uh, having a job like you know taking up a job was an obvious choice for me i never had any second thoughts about it it was like clear that i am going to like you know uh, have a job and i'm going to earn uh, my own money it was only like you know somewhere when i was in my mid 30s uh, that i felt that yeah maybe now it's time that you know i have a baby Having a baby today, in today's world, having a baby is not just about the biology of our bodies. It actually needs a serious flip in our attitudes, the way we perceive career and motherhood. And here I am not talking about those women, uh, you know, who are denied their basic rights. I am talking about women who are well educated, they are empowered, they are raised to be financially independent. Now here we are, okay, we have been earning our own money, we have been financially independent for the longest time that we remember and suddenly, you know, we are faced, we have this challenge uh, before us of choosing between career and motherhood. It's not an easy task. Even today, we do not know how to solve this problem and yes, it is a problem. But, you know, the least that we can do is at least start having some intelligent discussions or conversations about this issue. And, you know, we can start by admitting the fact that in order to find that balance between career and motherhood, there is one parameter that suffers the most and that is the woman herself. You know, motherhood is beautiful. It is extremely rewarding in so many ways and that I can say out of my own personal experience. But it can actually have negative impact on the women who want to pursue their career even after becoming a mother. And it can also have negative impact on those women who decide to quit their career after becoming a mother. Because in today's world, young women are raised with the idea of gender equality, women empowerment, feminism. You know, we are fed the idea that if you are financially independent, only then you will be able to, like, you know, live the life of your own choices. You will be able to follow your dreams. Now, our society is, uh, like, you know, day by day becoming progressive. But it has some standards. By our society's standards, you know, daughters and even daughters-in-law, they are allowed to uh, study and work. Okay. Uh, families actually, you know, they feel that they are doing women a favor by allowing them to work. But... You know, there's another thing, there's another but over here, that progressive attitudes stops right here. You know, it has its own set of terms and conditions. Definitely, like a woman can have a flourishing career uh, because she's allowed to work, she's allowed to go out, she's allowed to study, she's, you know, she's allowed to live her life. But do all these things, have a successful career. But, you know, you cannot just ignore your household uh, work. You have to take up, like, you have to take up the full responsibility of parenting and doing the household work. You know, many working women, they have little or I can also say that they have no help when it comes to parenting. They are doing everything by themselves. They are working 
okay and uh, offices also have their own set of expectations they want women to behave like nothing has happened uh, she delivered a baby she has a child to take care of but nothing has happened you have to work the way you were working and you are expected to uh like you know work on weekends you are expected to work uh, take up evening calls you know all these expectations are set for her and she has this constant pressure of proving herself at work over and over okay she is constantly she is putting herself in pressure by comparing herself with her teammates who you know kind of like still enjoy working on weekends or uh, like you know attending late evening calls and things like that you know which are actually out of your uh, working time now this woman eventually she will be under stress okay she is going to have a lot of stress and that's when you know that decision of choosing between career and motherhood comes in now say by some means okay that woman she secures herself like you know uh, she gets a proper support system in place in the form of maybe her spouse or maybe her extended family she can maybe either ask her parents to pitch in and help or her in-laws to help her or she can even like you know look out for some paid help now even after she does all these things at the professional front you know she still cannot maintain that hold the way uh, like you know her male colleagues similar to her male colleagues or even similar to other women who do not have children and this can actually play out in different ways at the workplace but the biggest sting is that the way it affects her earning potential now according to a report uh, from third way third way is basically a national uh, think tank a woman's earning power it drops by 4% for each child she has now this is not it okay interestingly opposite is true for men so basically if a man becomes a father his earning potential is rising by 6% it is a direct inverse relationship over here okay now what is the, i'm not telling this this is these are some of the statistics okay which you can go and check on the internet now what we can derive from this is that from this inverse relationship among the earning potential of men and women is that employers um big organizations you know almost all the big organizations out there they are still viewing men and women in their traditional roles so what what these traditional roles were is that men are the bread uh, winners of the family and women are the caregivers now definitely this is not fair but this is the reality you know uh, just last year in 2021 uh, there was a study done uh, it was named women in the workforce as per that study one in three women have considered to leave their job after they had a child and uh, many women also consider about downgrading their responsibilities so that they will find time to take care of their children now i i'm not concluding anything but in my opinion it is very important for every woman to sort things out mentally before entering motherhood and also another important thing that has to be done before you even plan a pregnancy is to have an open discussion with your partner you know talking about things like who is going to do what kind of work like once the baby is here child birth having a child is like you know adding a whole lot of responsibilities to your already existing responsibilities so you and your partner need to have a clear dialogue about all the responsibilities that are going to accompany child birth and how you guys are going to divide it and more importantly i want you to ask yourself that what is more fulfilling to you is your career the fundamental source of your fulfillment 
is motherhood something that you really desire or is it something that you are just walking into because of so many external pressures think about all the dimensions of your life think about what is really valuable to you 